Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex or Nuznas, and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at loot from 1,000 Dagonoth Kings. Um, this is another loot video I'm doing. Dagonoth Kings are really a boss that I feel like has been forgotten a lot in RuneScape. It was one of the first bosses released, but... Over time, it got some graphical reworks on RuneScape 3, and people just stopped going there. Uh, in general, I'm not sure why they're a really fun boss, even now, even in Evolution of Combat. It could be because you have to switch between styles, but I personally find it enjoyable. And as you'll see in their video, the drops are pretty good as well. So we're going to get into it with a thousand Dagnoth King kills, and yeah, I'll start by showing you guys all the drops talk a little bit about them and then show you me selling the loot and figure out how much we made and see if we can get lucky. So let's get right into the loot. All right, so starting off our loot, we're coming in with a mud battle staff at DKs. DKs are one of the most nostalgic bosses for me just because I have so many memories doing them. I remember doing them pre-EOC. Um, I just have so many like poignant memories in my mind of doing this boss and you know uh just i don't know it's hard to explain the nostalgia but also um just the fun times around doing them and the different phases of uh the bosses themselves i mean they've really grown over the years you have you know the classic old school version um where you could just always you could really just die um, you know, no matter what, they're really dangerous. Uh, and then you kind of got into the version that was, uh, you know, during, you know, 2010, 2012, where they weren't as dangerous, but it was still pre-EOC. And, you know, a lot of the rings were still worth a decent amount, but the, you know, the dragon hatchet wasn't really, or dragon axe at that time wasn't really that much. And then you go into now, which... You know, a lot of the rings are pretty worthless, but the Dragon Hatchet still holds a really good value, and they've had their graphical rework. Um, it's now EOC. Uh, you can still get the pets, uh, which you can actually make look like the old version. So the pets have two options. You can make them look like the current version or the old version, which I just think is amazing. I really love that option about them. Um, you have the aspect of tri-britting, which, you know, whether it's EOC or pre-EOC, it's always something I really liked, uh, just using all three combat styles. I remember back in the day, I would bring my, uh, my polypore staff, um, chaotic kite shield, stuff like that to DKs, and I actually think I have a video, old video of it, so I may put that uh, on the screen now if I can find it. But that was a really fun time in RuneScape. I just get happy thinking about it. It's just very nostalgic uh, right before EOC. Um, but DKs of something that I've killed so many of. And it was just really fun to go back and kill them again. Um, of course, they're not hard. But they uh, do give you some decent loot. So, um, you know, I was pretty excited to just go back and try them again. As you can see, I'm using pretty good gear, but I, you know, my melee weapon, I actually didn't have one. So I used an Elder Rune 2H, which worked fine. You don't need the best gear to do these at all. Um, and yes, I did have Magic Note Paper. I was Magic Note Papering the Bones and the Hides. Um, I didn't have the Fremnic Sea Boots, and I wasn't about to do 250 laps of the Barbarian Agility course. So maybe someday I'll get that, but I was just magic note papering them, and it really wasn't too expensive. Um, get a Sears ring here. Um, I did have a very good amount of dragon hatchets, which I was really happy about, and also mud battle staffs. Um, I just really like the way the bosses evolved. If you look at like the old school version, all the rings, you know, I've done quite a bit of the, of Dagnoth Kings on old school and the rings are worth a great amount, and the dragon axe is kind of like the thing you don't want. It's not really worth anything. Then you go on RS3, and it's kind of the opposite. The rings aren't really worth anything, but you get that dragon hatchet, and it's a nice a nice little booster. So, um, you know, these are just a really fun boss to do, and if you want to get into PVM, um, 
and you haven't done many bosses, these are honestly a good boss to do. Obviously, I just stood here and killed them all, and uh, I could, you know, kill them very fast and before the others spawn, usually. Um, if you don't have, you know, as good a stats or gear as me, you're probably going to have to, you know, go to different areas of the arena, uh, lure them over, which is, you know, kind of the classic way to do it and the way I, I always remember doing it. Um, so I would definitely recommend getting into DKs as, you know, if you're starting PVM because they're pretty chill. You're going to make a decent amount of money and the pets, like I said, are some of the coolest in the game, I think. So, as I almost die here and have to tell you out, I'm telling you they're easy. They are easy. I just didn't bring any food um, because I'm stubborn and I was just soul splitting the whole time. But, yeah, you really won't need much. They're, they're pretty easy. And there is another dragon hatchet coming in. So, I was just so happy to see all the dragon hatchets because, um, you know, it, it was just a nice amount of money pouring in. And, uh, yeah, we did get the pet. I'm not sure if it's been shown yet, but I did get the Dagonoth egg. So that is one of three pets. So I'm really happy about that. I believe that is a prime pet. So another pet down. We need two more Dagonoth King pets. So I will definitely in the future be doing more Dagonoth Kings. But that is about all for the loot that I got on video, and we're going to go and look at the whole tab. I tried to pick up as much as I could for you guys to get an accurate price check on the loot, and, uh, you know, we're about to go see how much we made. All right, guys, so now we are going to be going into the bank and looking at the loot here. So this is it, loot from 1,000 Dagnoth Kings. I tried very hard to pick up almost everything I could. There are some things like Mithril Rune Salvage or Mithril Salvage and, uh, you know, just things that were really, really not worth anything I didn't pick up. But I did pick up all the hides, all the bones. I yacked back almost everything, untradeable or not. So this is going to be showing you guys a loot. So if we start up top, we have uh, Dagnoth Bones, which surprisingly are worth quite a bit. 5,700 GP each. Then we have the Dagnoth Hide, which I was very surprised is worth 7,600 GP each. Not sure how these will sell, although I do think this is used in summoning, so I think it actually uh, could sell for a decent amount. So I picked up all of those. And uh, we're going to get into the juicy stuff now. So we got the rings. So we've got four Seer's rings, one Archer's ring, two Berserker rings, and three Warrior's rings. Uh, sadly, the rings aren't worth too much anymore just because there's so many better rings. But something like the Berserker ring still goes for like 300k. And uh, here we have the Dragon Hatchet, which is by far the most valuable drop you can get from Dagnoth Kings. If we look at this, it is almost 3 mil each, and we ended up getting 8 of them. So I am super, super happy with that. Uh, these were just so much fun to get as a drop. It was so nice when they dropped, so really happy to get 8 Dragon Hatchets. We got 7 Mud Battle Staffs, which 25 cage, not that much, but it is a rare drop from Dagnoth Kings. It is on the Dagnoth King log, so we did end up getting that. Two Circles, which is kind of an iconic item. I don't know, I just always uh, think of this back in the day. Um, it doesn't really have a use, it's not very good, but it is an iconic looking item, I feel. Uh, we ended up getting the Dagonoth Egg, which I believe is from Prime. Um, so yeah, we did actually end up getting... Uh, a Dagnoth pet, which is really awesome. They are one of the main reasons I did DKs, and I'm really happy to get that. And uh, coming down here, we have Spined, Skeletal, and Rock Shell. So I actually ended up getting uh, all of the sets complete. So if you don't know, these actually still go for a decent amount. Um, a lot of them have ALK value, but a lot of them go over the ALK value just because you can actually upgrade these with a Fremnik patch. And if you upgrade them, you can basically turn them into a higher tiered version. And I think it's like 70 or 80, something like that. I think 70, 65 maybe. And what that does is it'll basically uh, make it into a better version. And people use these a lot in the wilderness to PK or to just go, you know, to like lava strike worms. If they don't want to risk a lot, they'll use these. So uh, people actually use these quite a bit. So... 
Uh, of course, I can alk them if they don't sell, but it actually adds a nice, decent chunk uh, to the loot. Then we have the Fremnik Helm, which is untradeable, and the Fremnik Blade, which is also untradeable. I yacked back a ton of these. I really don't know why. As you can see here, we got a Fremnik Shield. I didn't yak back hardly any of the Fremnik Shields for some reason, but I did yak back these, so I'm really not sure why, but I really wanted to get the full loot for you guys. Um, and then coming down here, we have the Berserker Helm, the Archer Helm, the Warrior Helm, and the Farseer Helm, which, you know, still all have an ALK price of 45k. So these actually do add up surprisingly. So I did yak all these back, and uh, we ended up getting almost an even amount of them. So these are all the, uh, the helms you can get from, you know, the Fremnik shop after doing the Fremnik trials, which, you know, DKs, you know, are a big Fremnik boss. So we have those. We now have the Dagonoth King teleports, which are a new item uh, when they reworked Dagonoth Kings. They added those. We got 36 of those. I'm not sure how useful they'll be or the, if they'll sell since there's a PVM hub now, but we did get some. We ended up getting a Dragon Helm. Uh, some rune arrowheads, and these are some rare drop table drops. Water talismans, which used to be a staple of Dagonoth Kings. I remember going to Dagonoth Kings back in 2013, 2014. Uh, when EOC first came out, even before EOC and Water Talismans, as you can see, are pretty expensive. They used to be even more because they were used for summoning and double XP. I think they were like 8 to 10k plus. And you used to get so many of these at Dagnox Kings, it just made them great money. And I'm sad that they, they actually nerfed the Water Talisman drop rate uh, when they redid the Dagnox Kings, which is... Uh, you know, it's pretty sad because they, you know, were such a good item, but we didn't, they still are on the drop table, but you very rarely get them. So we only got 33 of those. And then the super ranging and super magic potions. I wish I had known uh, sometime through the kills, I ended up figuring out that these are actually 22K for the ranging potions and the magic potions are 10K. And uh, that's more than the bones and the hides. So... I actually realized this while it was kind of too late, and I ended up, you know, uh, magic notepapering them, but I wish I knew sooner because I would have definitely had a lot more of these. And then we have the death runes. So this is all the loot from 1000 Dagnoth Kings, and now we're going to get into the price check and see how much we made. All right, guys, so here we are, and we're actually going to price check all the loot here. Now, I am not going to be selling this just because I want to keep a big loot tab, but we're going to look at the price check and see how much the loot is. So as you can see, 16 mil almost in just the bones and the hides, which is just crazy. So it's definitely worth picking those up. And uh, we're going to add in the rest of the... Uh, the rest of the normal drops and see how much it comes out to. I knew that it would be worth it to yak back some of the stuff like the warrior helmets and stuff like that. So as you can see, it actually does add up quite a bit and we're at 20 mil before any of the rare drops. If we add in the rare drops, you know, the rings aren't too much, but we'll add those in and we're at 21.3 mil. Circles, Mud Battle Staffs, and now for the big items, the Dragon Hatchets, add eight of those in. And we've got 45 mil, so that is pretty good. I'm pretty surprised. Um, for this, it actually took me around, I would say, hmm, uh, probably about eight hours to do a thousand kills. So it didn't take too long. So probably about five or six mil an hour. Uh, it was very casual. I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, they're just all in all a great boss, and I think more people should, you know, go give them a chance because with the bones and the hides and the dragon hatchets, you're going to make a decent amount of money, and the pets are some of the coolest in the game, I think, since you can revert them back to their old school look. So I was really, really happy with this, and uh, yeah, DKs are definitely a decent boss to go chill and do. They don't have much requirements, and uh, you can do them at a pretty low level. So uh, pretty happy with this, 45 mil and uh, really happy with DKs. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's Loot from a Thousand Dagnoth Kings. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed doing DKs, and I'm hoping to have more loot videos out in the future. Um, not sure what I wanna do in terms of uh, 
you know, bosses that I want to show loot from. Maybe Telos and stuff like that. I want to show some interesting stuff. Um, probably going to be sticking to bosses and uh, things like that. You know, of course, I enjoy wilderness stuff like Revenants and Lava Strike Worms. So there may be some of those coming. But uh, definitely going to be out with uh, Road to Party Hat and Hardcore Iron Man series soon as well. So be on the lookout for that. And if you haven't, please hit the subscribe button. Please like this video. Let's see if we can hit 200 likes. That would be crazy. And uh, make sure to comment and tell me what you want to see me do a loot from video next. Put it in the comments below and I may choose your comment and do a video on that soon. So let me know down there. And if you haven't, I'm going to put a link up now. You can support the channel by joining my channel memberships. We actually have quite a bit of people in there now. So if you want to help support me and join a little community, uh, you can do that. And you'll basically get a bunch of perks. They're all laid out there in each tier. So if you click that, um, you can see and you can support me if you want. So yeah, I just want to say thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.